Hey guys, I am vlogging today. I'm being a grown ass woman. I'm doing adult things, grown woman shit. I'm just being a fucking 30 year old mom. I don't know. I'm being pretty, pretty, pretty into um, doing adult shit. <laughs> no, today I'm at my grandpa's house. I'm just sitting here. Um, I was in town, so I stopped by. And um, if you guys don't know, which I've said in my previous videos, but I'm moving in July. I'm moving to um, a four-bedroom, three-bath house, and I'm super excited, so blessed, so thankful. And um, I just have to do some work on the house to get it to what I like. So I already, like, got all my furniture for the house, and it delivers, like, a month from now. I don't know. But we're redoing the floors. We're painting the inside. We're doing a whole project, okay? We're doing a whole project. But I'm in my grandpa's house, and if you can't tell, this used to be my old room. Oh, my God. Um, I used to live in this room. It did not look like this when I lived here. I definitely had it very um, decorated. But um, my grandpa, he just doesn't listen to me. I told him, I can decorate this room. I can help you. But no, he wants to keep it. Like, we're on episode of Hoarders. I have no idea. But those pamper boxes, no joke, are used for storage. He's had them since, like, 1954. I don't know. But literally, he literally puts all of his paperwork in there. And, yeah, he's just really, he's really into it these days. You know what I mean? But I'm just looking for paint. And so, the paint that I want to put inside of my house, I don't know if you can see it. The fuck? Hold on. Okay, the paint that I want to put inside is this color right here. It is called Silver Streak. And my house is going to be the Silver Streak all inside. And I'm going to show you my furniture too. I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to let y'all in. All right, I'm going to show you guys my furniture and the paint color and all that. Yada, yada, yada. All right, so right here you see my couch. And that is in my living room. And then we're going to move to the dining room. That's my dining room table, which I am obsessed with. And my favorite part, mm, I don't know, my couch is my favorite, but that's my room, my master room, and this is the guest room. And then right here, we're going to get into the entertainment center with a TV mounted on the wall. But I did get other items too, but I don't have the pictures for them, but I definitely will be doing a house tour. And I did get all of um, my furniture off printsfurnishings.com. So if you want to check them out, you should. Um, I really, 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 really love my furniture. Like, I am so excited. Like, I wish the time would fly by faster because I'm excited. And then I'm going to the Asian market with my friend Nick because we are going to get Asian snacks, which I'm super excited for because I'm going to do a video um, called Americans Try Asian Snacks. And then I got British snacks as well at Publix. And if you don't have a Publix near you, I feel so bad for you because I love Publix. But, um... American Shy British Snacks, and then I'm going to see how those videos go, and if you guys like it, I'll do more. Um, I'm a picky person <laughs> when it comes to snacks. Um, well, I did go to Asia for eight days this year, so I was in Thailand um, in January, and I was in um, China, and I personally, I don't really like, I guess, Chinese food or um, Thai food. It's just not my favorite, and... All of the snacks were so different. Like, I hated the, um, I hated Asian Coca-Cola. It just was really, I don't know what it tastes like. I think, I guess I had, like, real sugar. I don't know. It just was gross. Yeah. <laughs> I think Asian food is probably my least favorite, type, uh, like, type of food. I like Japanese food, though. So, Asian food is, yeah, definitely my least favorite. But, I mean, it's, I think it's fucking awesome how they make their shit and stuff like that. But, so I'm gonna go get these snacks. And then I'm going to cook dinner later. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I just got out of the Asian market and I only spent $27, um, so I'm super excited. I'm going to go home and I don't know if I'm going to film that today or tomorrow, but I'm going to go change my clothes and cook because I'm hungry 
I want some tacos. So, see you then. Today, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be cooking for you guys. Um, I have posted cooking videos before, but today I have partnered with HelloFresh and I'm gonna be cooking pineapple poblano beef tacos, which I'm excited about because <laughs> I'm hungry, like always. But you guys can get $30 off of your box by using code I will link that in the description below. So don't forget to check out www.hellofresh.com to check out all the deals and all the good food that they're offering for you guys. Okay, so the convenience about HelloFresh is that every ingredient that you need for your meal is in this bag. How convenient is that, literally? And the overall benefit of HelloFresh is that you don't have to go grocery shopping. So you're cutting down time, no running around the store, some stores don't have everything you need for a meal, so everything is in there. And that's like amazing. That's the overall benefit of it all for HelloFresh. So that's one thing. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, HelloFresh, because your girl does not have time for grocery shopping or getting through Walmart because Walmart has too many people and I don't have time. Okay, so the excitement about cooking is knowing what you're doing. Let's be real. And that's what's awesome about HelloFresh. You can be excited to cook because every single meal comes with a card. I'm going to literally put it in right now. So the cards that come with HelloFresh for each meal literally shows exactly what you're doing, exactly what you're putting in, exactly how it's cooked. It literally shows everything. And you don't want to be insecure when you're cooking. You don't want to feel like you can't do it. You don't want to feel like you don't know what you're doing, how much is going in, how much is going out. So that's what's awesome about HelloFresh. It makes you excited to cook. It's excitement for cooking. HelloFresh has selection and flexibility, literally. You can get veggie, family plan, or classic. So you have a selection of what you want. And that's what I love too because you don't want to not be able to choose what you want, how you want it, everything. So it has selection and flexibility, which is really awesome. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is cut this pepper and this onion in half, and I'm going to dice up half of it and put the other half diced up into the saute pan. So yeah, let's cut this up, and I'm also going to be cutting this lime and these two tomatoes because I am going to be making a salsa as well with the sour cream and cilantro and pineapple. And we're going to drain this pineapple as well. So what I'm going to do is slice this onion ooh, in half and I'm going to peel it because yeah I want to make sure it's peeled and then I'm going to cut the ends I'm also going to be using this as my trash bag so yeah I'm going to cut all these onions up first and surprisingly I haven't cried which is great because no one likes crying oh my god I'm crying okay, so I put half of the onion in these and this half is going to go in this bowl right here when I make my salsa. But first, I'm going to take this pepper, I'm going to take half of it, and then I'm going to put one half in the skillet and one half of my salsa. So this is the pepper. Ooh, I'm going to cut it up. Okay, so I put my peppers and my onions in here, and I'm going to let that saute while I cut up everything else. So now I'm going to cut up my tomatoes and my lime. Well, you can cut up the tomatoes any way you like, but I like mine a little chunky because I love tomatoes. So I'm going to add that to the salsa. And I dropped one because I am messy. I'm just going to eat it. And then I'm going to cut this line into four. See how good that line looks? <laughs> and then I just cut them again and then it's four lines for the salsa so now I'm going to take the ground beef and I'm just going to add it to the mixture that I have which is the onion and peppers like I said 
and I am going to take a new spoon and mix it all together. So I'm just going to break it and mix it. So now I'm just going to dump the pineapple in there. And then I'm going to take my fresh cilantro and I'm just going to take half of this and add it into the mixture. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my taco spice and pour that into the beef for seasoning. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little of my lime and just squeeze. Make sure your hands are clean for this and make sure you get just a little bit of lime and then save the lime for the tacos to put on top of it. And then I'm gonna take the cilantro and only take half and add that as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these two sour cream packets and this will complete my salsa, so I'm just gonna put it in there and mix it all up. And then the remaining cilantro and the remaining lime is to go on top of the fresh tacos for just really good flavor. And then I have my corn tortillas, which actually they're flour tortillas, and I'm going to put them in the microwave for 30 seconds, and that will heat them up to where they're able to be soft and good for the tacos, so yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to mix my salsa together, and I can already smell this food, it's gonna smell and taste so good. Oops, I dropped some pineapple, of course, but that's fine. Sure, should look a little like this. Okay, so now I have my flour tortilla and I'm going to take my meat spoon. Remember that I have two spoons. I have the vegetable one and I had the meat one. So I'm just going to plate the taco. I'm gonna put a little more meat. And then I'm gonna take my little salsa and put it on top like that. And add a few pieces of cilantro. That may be or may not be sticking to my hand. All right, so this is a taco. It smells super good. I'm super excited to eat it. But you see the salsa on top of it. You see cilantro on my hands, which is fine. And it looks so good. I'm super excited to eat it. Forget Taco Bell. Forget all these places. You can make tacos right at your house. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the link in my description below. And go look on HelloFresh.com. www.HelloFresh.com. And... Go order some food. Don't forget to use my code either. But I'm going to go eat this food and I hope you guys have an amazing day.